Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your singles reading. This is for April. This is Mary. And this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you knew or returning, welcome and thank you. So Gemini decided to bring these singles readings back. Um, I did have a poll on my community tab of my uh, channel that I did put up about a month ago. Ask viewers to participate and vote which readings they would like to see on the channel. And one of the options was spirit messages and singles to come back. So I'm incorporating them back into the channel, see how it goes. All the spirit messages are already up for April. I'll still be doing the love connection readings, the general readings, and the bonus readings. But now also, instead of doing two love connection, two generals, I'll be doing a singles and messages from your spirit guides or spirit guide messages, however you want to call it, spirit readings. So please check that out if you haven't already. And thank you. So, Gemini, let's see what we have for you. This is intended for singles who are wondering uh, who's coming towards me. When am I going to find new love? If you are single but are sort of connected to somebody but you're not together, um, you can watch this. It may or may not resonate because I'm going to look into the energy of who this person may be. What is their energy like? What is their personality like? Uh, how and where you may meet them? Possible time frame of when? What kind of connection it could be? So please only take it how it resonates for you. Not everything will probably resonate if you're already connected to somebody. So keep that in mind. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. And could be past, present, or future. And uh, take it how it resonates for you. So Gemini, welcome Gemini. I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. Everything you need to know, Gemini, is down below in the description box. How to reach out for personal reading. Decks I'm using. Um... Amazon links if you choose to wish to uh, purchase them for yourself. Your playlists are down below, General and Love, if you'd like to go back. I consider them timeless. Social media links if you'd like to follow me on any uh, social media. My Teespring uh, account is there, merchandise, all that stuff. And if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, that info is below, as well as all most of that to the top pin comment also. If you're not comfortable um, donating through PayPal, during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for tips, donations, energy exchanges, if you choose to. And if you do, thank you. All right, with all that being said, Gemini, let's take a look at new love, who's coming towards you, incoming energy for Gemini. So the first thing I'm going to do here with the energy oracle is I'm going to get what is their energy like. It could be something they're going through. It could just be their personality, what kind of energy they're in, and then we'll look at their spirit energy, more of like their personality um, kind of energy, and then we'll look at, take a look at their love energy, what is their love energy love, like towards love, and then we'll clarify that with the tarot, and then we'll look at, um, once we clarify their, all that energy, we'll look at where and when you may meet this person, and then possible time frame of when. And most of the readings have been coming out like end of summer into fall, even winter or next year, obviously with everything going on in the world today. And then uh, to, um, possible connections could be between you and this incoming person. So let's see what their energy is like. So we got strategy here. And we have number 21, which is three. So that's about teamwork, collaboration, coming together with other people. So community energy. So this may be somebody who is very um, social. Um, I feel like they're a planner. Like they like to have everything planned out. They like to strategize. Um, they have to have like a game plan kind of energy. That's kind of what I'm feeling with that. They also could be somebody that works in <clears throat> the legal field of some kind. Um, or they could be like a CEO or um, a president of a company or something like that. All right, so let's see. Or, and I'm seeing uh, like that, the feather, and it says journal lock. So they could be a journalist or they could write in some way, shape or form for a living also. I'm getting the, the feather there with the old fashioned uh, quills that they used to um, write with. So they could be into writing. Oh, it's show, no, I can't even talk some way. <laughs> All right, so let's see what their spirit energy is like. What is their personality? Personality. What is their spirit energy like for Gemini singles? New love. Who's coming towards them for Gemini's 
And that's two. I just want one, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. All right, I just want one. One. <laughs> Let's take that one. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We have serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let, don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. So this could be somebody who uh, is very peaceful, harmonious. I feel like they don't really hold uh, grudges or hold things, keep things with them. I feel like, you know, it happens. And then they, I mean, of course, they may carry it around with them for a while, but I feel like they just, you know, after a while, they just let it go. They're always strategizing, thinking about new things, making new plans, having a game plan kind of energy. They just had this show to me that I wasn't ready. So they could be a very balanced person, mind, body, and soul is the uh, message I just got. So let's see what we get, though, for you. Gemini, what is this person's love energy like? Love energy like. For Gemini singles, new love, new person who's coming towards them. What is this person's love energy like for Gemini singles? All right. Let's see what we have. This card flying over here. Night wind facing fear, subconscious release, and healing. 23 is 5, which is about change. So this person might have went through a big change here. Um, it's like they went through, maybe they have already gone through like a midlife crisis. They could be middle-aged uh, or a little younger than that, like 40s or 50s, or maybe even 30s. Um, could be any age, male or female. But maybe they already gone through like their dark night of the soul uh, kind of energy because I get you know this dark energy here and I did see that yin yang so maybe they're just very balanced now they face their fears they released things no longer as this card also mentioned release release things uh, no longer serving them and healed and I feel like they're just concentrating on them strategizing their future making plans um maybe somebody who's very detailed oriented needs to write down every you know everything um like make they make lists you know <laughs> Kind of energy also. All right. So they may like the night time. They may be something about, maybe they're a night owl or they just like um, the night time. Getting like fall energy. They kind of like the fall, you know, the season of autumn. For some reason, I'm getting that energy. Or they could be an earth sign. So we'll see. So we're going to clarify this energy. Clarify their energy for you, Gemini. Let's clarify this energy for Gemini, please. That's way too many. Let's clarify this energy for Gemini. For Gemini singles, who's coming? Way too many. All right, let's take this one. So we have temperance, and I just saw that yin yang. So this is about healing and balance and peace and harmony and patience. Patient energy, King of Cups. So we have Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. So somebody who's in tune, in touch with their emotions. Um, they could be intuitive, a calm, peaceful, caring, loving, nurturing kind of person. Sometimes they don't always speak what they truly feel. But then now we have the Queen of Pentacles. So King of Queen doesn't matter. And I had said Earth, and now he has Earth. So they could have a heavy water and Earth in their chart. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So I feel an energy here of somebody who's balanced out their energy. They have a much more patient energy than in the past. They've done their healing. Uh, peace, harmony kind of energy. This is divine energy too with temperance. Like they're waiting for whatever's meant for them will... I feel like they, they're in an energy of like whatever's meant for me will come in for me. But what, you know whatever happens, I'm going to do me. I'm strategizing, I'm planning, like they're very detailed oriented for their future and just moving along now. Again, I feel like, you know, they've healed their heart here with the King of Cups and now with the, you know, King, Queen here, the Pentacles, much more stable, grounded, secure. Um, again, they could, you know, be, they could even be in finances, but I feel like they do have, um, 
They don't really have to worry about money is what I feel. Very stable kind of energy. Very good with finances also. So what else? This energy here. This energy here. Gemini singles. Oh, oh, he's knocking everything on the floor here. So we have the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like this person was confused about life at one time. You know, daydreaming, confused, um, options, choices, decisions. So I feel like they could have been confused at one time, one point in their life. But I feel like they've come out of that energy. I mean, they could just be daydreaming now about, you know, their wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups. What kind of person, lover, partner that they want for the future. They want their wish fulfillment now. They're ready for that. They've done all, the, all their work here. I feel like they're no longer confused. I think I'm going to put that in reverse because I feel like they're no longer confused. They know exactly what they want now. They're ready for wish fulfillment. They're stable. They're grounded. They have love and emotions to share and give. Like this man is bearing his chest. So I feel like they're ready to bear their all, bear their chest, their heart. You know, they still have a little bit of wounds. You can see, you know, a little bit of um, energy still there. So they still have a little bit of... You know, scarring, but you know, they're, they're healing. They're healing. They're not open wounds. There's the scars are still there, but they're moving on from that energy. All right. So let's see, let's see how and where you can meet this person. Gemini single spirit, please. see what we have. I want to put them upright because I'm just reading. Um, so we got the Page of Cups and the Tower. So you can meet them in, I'm getting like either a hotel or um, or something like a tall building. So, you know, if you're on vacation or something or you're in a hotel or something like a skyscraper or just a very big building, and Page of Cups is about communication. So we may be talking, you know, randomly to a stranger about something. And maybe it's, you know, something you have in common. Maybe it's just general talk. Maybe it's, you know, talking about, oh, you know, I love this, I love that. And oh, I like that too. And somehow conversation gets uh, struck up here. I'm seeing some sort of building. So it's either like a big motel, hotel, um, Kind of energy now we have the queen of cups so i'm seeing like a clock tower or something like that maybe it could even be an apartment building if some of you live in an apartment building or you're visiting a friend or a family member when this whole p thing passes in the world and we're able to get out into the community again visit uh people again friends family um getting like a clock tower or just something with a lot of windows so it doesn't necessarily have to be a clock tower it could be like an old building that was refurbished into condos or apartments or something like that. Or it could be some kind of like attraction in the park or something, um, something like that. But I feel like, I feel like you could either run into them while you're just out for the day somewhere or visiting somebody somewhere. All right, let's get one more. Let's get one more. Because now we have the Queen of Cups. So we got water again. So we got the King and Queen of Cups here. So that's a matching couple. So this could be a soulmate potential here. So we got water sign again, water here. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's get one more. Now we have the Two of Swords energy. So. I'm seeing water here too. It's a lot of water. So it could be something near the water. Again, you could be, you know, vacationing near the water, maybe in a, in a, you know, in a big motel, hotel, or visiting someone that you know that lives near the water, that lives in a condo or an apartment building, or visiting something, you know, near the water. Or something like that. And I feel like you're either just going to like happen to run into them or you're going to be standing in line or something like that and i feel like um you may you may be questioning something like uh 
could be something just general, you know, that's in the area, like questioning something like, oh, why, why is that, you know, whatever, or what, you know, because the two of swords is about indecisive energy or like questions or something like that. So there could be something that could come up that strikes up a conversation. It could be just a question about something here. Or something about, oh, I really like that over there. And they happen to be there. Oh, yeah, you know. And then just to start talking about things that you both like. Could be like at dawn, uh, not dawn, dusk time also. Okay, so. All right, so let's see. All right, let's see here. Time frame for Gemini. Like when, like what time of year. Kind of energy if i get um okay we've got the knight of swords so now we have the air so that could be your energy maybe gemini queries but this is winter so so far we have winter energy it could be the beginning of winter king of swords so all air energy here so that's winter let's just get one more maybe gemini queries so it could be your energy here one more and the Knight of Pentacles. So I'm getting fall into winter. That's what I'm getting. And we have the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy again. So we have air, earth, and water heavy here. So <clears throat> not any wands here. So I don't think it's going to be a fire sign. So I'm getting a fall, fall into winter. All right, so... For some of you it could be the beginning of fall the beginning of winter or the end of winter all right so let's see let's see what kind of connection would this be between you and this person gemini singles well we got the ace of cups well look at that brand new divinely guided beginning in love i think it's just going to be like <laughs> instant connection here like if you meet and you just start talking about this you start talking about that you question this you question that you, you know you just start talking and talking and talking it's like instant ace of cups here wow brand new divinely guided beginning in love all right what else for gemini here singles what kind of connection would this be the moon energy so feeling I'm getting heavy energy of this is connect is going to happen dusk or at night under the moonlight is what I'm getting. But uh, the moon energy is about, you know, not seeing things clearly or uh, things coming to light or, you know, deep feelings can be very deep feelings with the moon energy and the ace of cups, very deep feelings between two people it can be about secrets and illusions, but I'm not really getting that energy. So let's get one more. What kind of connection this would be between Gemini and their person here. The four wants. Okay, here's the want. So this is my twin flame card. Wow. So I'm not getting secrets, deception, nothing with the moon. I'm getting brand new beginning in love, possible soulmate twin flame. We did have a matching couple. It's very indicative of soulmate twin flame energy. The moon, very deep, deep feelings, uh, feminine energy. So it could be male or female with feminine energy, doesn't matter. Deep, deep feelings between two. Soulmate to inflame energy with the four of wands. Very stable, secure, grounded, home life, commitment, marriage. This could lead to marriage or living together. And divinely guide, brain of beginning in love here. Love and emotions overflowing. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom. But before we look at the bottom, Gemini, I just want to say, especially if you're new, you like my style, how I read, please feel free to check out my channel. You like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I'd love to read the comments. Hit the bell and you won't miss out miss out on any readings. Like I said, you get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom. The Three of Cups. This is a celebrating, uh, uniting, having a good time, going out for drinks, community energy. Well, there you go. Another divinely guided brand new beginning in love with the Ace of Pentacles. Secure, grounded, long-term. This could have long-term potential. Um... The Ace of Pentacles, very secure, grounded, long-term growth, stability, prosperity, abundance between the two of you. And there's the marriage or commitment with the Hierophant. Long-term marriage or commitment here. Two Pentacles, so, uh, and the Two of Cups. 
So, you know, could be juggling things around, you know, two of cups here is soulmate union. Two of pentacles is finding the balance between the two of you. Maybe, you know, things may be a little imbalanced. Maybe, you know, if you've been single for a long time, maybe the two of you, you move in together down the road and it's like, okay, this is new and you kind of balance out those energies, but then you do have the balance with the two of cups energy. So the angel de la new here is about, um, she's a healing angel of the night. So like I said, going through the dark night of the soul and coming out here with true clarity balance with the justice card because there's been healing with the four of swords energy. So now we're ready for a fiery, passionate, brand new beginning with the ace of wands. So you have, and then have <laughs> the high priestess and to listening to her, you got your intuition, your higher knowing. Tutably knowing someone taking charge control with the emperor. So totally knowing, you know, and listening to that energy. Could be about, see, this could be about secrets or not communicating. So maybe you just don't tell everybody about your love life and all that kind of energy about the passion in your life. You know, maybe you're very private about, you know, your love life and that kind of energy between the two of you. But, you know, there's been healing here with the four of wands. Because, like I said, I felt like somebody went through the dark night of the soul and I felt that was them. So this is healing that energy and then coming out with justice, balance, clarity here for soulmate union. Feeling, you know, once feeling imbalanced, but now wanting long-term commitment or marriage, long, stable, grounded, um, energy here and uniting and having a good time and celebrating. Wow, Gemini. Wow, Gemini. Okay, so I see uh, two soulmates here. They're going to meet like on a whim. <clears throat> I'm feeling near the ocean or near water at, at like a um, big attraction, you know, near the ocean or the water, or you're visiting somebody, a friend or a family member. Like I said, either an apartment building or a hotel or s some sort of attraction, like huge attraction near the water or something like that at dusk, dusk or nighttime, moonlight, under the moonlight. And it's like <laughs> soulmates in the moonlight is what I'm feeling. Wow. Okay, Gemini. <laughs> Sounds like a fairy tale, but that's what I see. Okay, Gemini. So best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel... To always, always shine your light.